In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the time period section of BET Labs. When you click on time period, the list of filters will open below. The first filter we will look at is pre slash postseason. This filter is already added by default to every system that you start. You'll see it over here listed as season type and it's automatically defaulted to regular season. As with every other filter, you can click on the edit button if you'd like to change it. From there, you can include postseason, preseason, or even exhibition games to go along with your system. The pre slash postseason filter should not be confused with the season filter. This is simply looking at a year to year season. So if you want to look at 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and so on. Again, this is always sorted by money one, but you can easily sort by description and then have it on a year by year basis. You can easily look at the last three seasons, last four or five, whatever you would like to select. Next, we'll look at time of day. This filter is rather simple, although you do have to keep a couple of things in mind. First, it uses military time, and second, it refers to Eastern Time. So, if you want to look at all games that started at 1 p.m. Eastern Time or later, you would go 13, hit Enter. If you want to look at anything 8 p.m. or later, simply hit 21 or later, and that would give you those results. We'll exit out of this filter. Day of week. If you want to look at just Thursday night football games or maybe Monday night football games, that would be the filter that you would use there. Or if you just want to look at Sunday games, you could do that as well. We'll exit that one. Same thing for game month. You can select a certain month that you want to look at for your system. You can also look at game number. So if you want to look at how a team does in the second half of the season, you could go games 9 through 16. Close that filter. You can also select the time zones of the team. So if you want to look at Pacific teams playing in the East Coast, you can select both the home and visitor time zone. You can also look at the days between games. We'll go ahead and open up that one. You'll see this is a range filter where you can slide it. So if you want to look if they had you know, 10 days off or more, or if you want to look if they were coming off the short week, perhaps the Sunday and then they have to play on Thursday night football, you could look at the four days rest. Lastly, we'll look at custom date range. Here you can set a specific start and end point for your system. Just make sure that your end point includes today if you want it to provide current matches. And that is everything under the time period, so that will conclude this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll start looking into matchup info.